Good morning, guys. On my way to my first gym session of the day. Um, a couple ladies doing some self-defense stuff. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about is uh, is the, um, the influence that mixed martial arts has had on self-defense or the way we train self-defense and or combatives now as opposed to, uh, you know, maybe seven or eight years ago when mixed martial arts wasn't so saturated on the TV and everywhere else you go. So, quick little story. Yesterday I was in the gym, the normal, just doing some cardio and bag work and a uh, young man approached me after I was done hitting the bag and wanted to talk about self-defense for his son. Um, so I had some time and I'm the kind of guy that if somebody asks me something and I have the time, then well, I'll give them, you know, 20 minutes or so and give him some stuff to take home and practice with his kids, whatever. So we went in the cardio room and, uh, you know, I just asked him like, show me you know, what you know, what you would do, and now, mind you, this young man, he was probably 20, 21, 22, maybe 25 tops, uh, he had never trained in his life, never take one single class in any discipline at all, and I, we were talking about UFC and Bellator, mixed martial arts, right, sport stuff, so I knew right off the bat, I'm like, well, I know if he's a fan of mixed martial arts, he's going to know something, whatever, right? So, sure enough, he knew how to throw a halfway decent, you know, sloppy, but halfway decent jab, cross, left hook, right? He knew exactly how to throw it. He knew how to throw a low kick. He knew how to shoot a sloppy double leg takedown. He knew how to put on a sloppy armbar from mount, a sloppy armbar from guard. He knew how to throw on a key lock in Americana. He knew a basic sweep from guard, right? So the point being is if you're a student or instructor alike teaching self-defense, combatives, whatever it is, if you're not dedicating some of your time to at least learning the extreme basics of mixed martial arts, then you're not prepared because there is such a huge fan base of mixed martial arts fans out there. They're not just the good guys, right? All, everybody is, is a fan of, of mixed martial arts. So these guys intuitively and instinctively are going to know, sorry about the wiggles, are going to know how to throw your basic combinations. They're going to know how to shoot a, a, a takedown, maybe sloppy. But which sometimes can be more dangerous because you're not going to get the response you're looking for with a good, clean double leg takedown, right? So you have to be prepared for this this style of, or this new breed of of criminal. Everybody is going to know mixed martial arts just instinctively because they're fans of the sport. So you better train at least, at the bare minimum, the basic, basic, basic defenses. You better learn how to do, you know... Uh, sprawl, a good, decent sprawl. You better learn how to, you know, an escape from mount or a couple good escapes from mount. You know, you better learn the importance of underhooks. Basic stuff. But if you're not doing it, you're not going to be prepared to defend yourself against these new, against these mixed martial arts um, fans, right? But that's all, guys. Because this, you know, this kind of hit me. And I've always felt like this, but it especially hit home yesterday when this kid, we went in the room and he threw a, like a halfway decent jab cross hook at my head. And I was like, whoa, dude, like you never trained before? And he's like, no, nah, man, we just watched the UFC and Bellator, you know, we're fans of mixed martial arts. And, you know, so we just pick things up here and there. So if, uh, if he's doing it, everybody's doing it. So just keep that in mind in your training instructors out there step up your game you better add some some mixed martial arts stuff into your curriculum in the gym um, 
well, you're not preparing your students, right? You took an oath to teach. And in my opinion, when I decided to teach, you know, going back five years, six years now, I, that was the first promise I made to everybody was that I'm never going to show you, uh, you know, bullshit. I'm going to give you the best that I can give you because if I don't, I'm not going to feel, how can I sleep at night if I know I'm showing you some stuff that I haven't pressure tested or I'll use in a fight or I don't think works, right? So anyways, that's it. Let's keep it short and sweet. Practice mixed martial arts. That's all I'm saying. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe if you think it's worth it. And sorry, they're all rants lately, but uh, I will definitely get some instruction on here soon or at least some videos of classes. Show you guys some of my stuff. All right. Thanks again. Have a great day. Get in the gym. Being prepared is not paranoid.